Uh, well, I think uh, uh, coming to our six against Marisbeck United, it's quite a difficult game. I think we watched them last night, you know, getting a morale boosting, you know, you know, win. Uh, I think there will be a difficult team to play against. Uh, uh, they, 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 are, they are a structured team. I think we know all the teams that are coached by coach, you know, uh, them, they are very structured, you know, they've got a very good, you know, you know, work ethic. So it's not going to be an easy game. It's going to be a tough game. We're anticipating it, very tough game. Uh, good morning, Coach. Uh, it's Mike Kometa here. Uh, so, Coach, maybe just the elephant in the room here for the past couple of seasons, um, you, you always start like a house on fire and you always end up, you know, finishing fifth between fifth and sixth. Just this season, you also, you know, the trend is continuing. You started off well. What is it that you, you know, you've jotted down to do differently and what is it that you're telling your players, especially now that you've got a younger, a younger squad, I think your squad keeps on getting younger every season. Just maybe, you know, how are you planning to navigate to this one this time around? Thanks. Yeah, look, I think it's a very good question. Uh, we've also had to assess, you know, performances through, you know, probably the last three seasons where we have always had a very good start. And uh, we tend to fault, and I think towards the second round of the season. Uh, and then we pick up again. Uh, so I think uh, looking back, uh, uh, especially the past season, we were also anticipating that it, that might happen because of you know you know our squad in terms of you know depth as well as uh, managing uh, the, the 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 main players you know in terms of game time as well as you know uh, injuries. Uh, so I think this season we're also well away, you know, if you look at our games now, sometimes we don't play Gabuz and Bread at the same time uh, because we don't want them to burn out, you know, at the same time as well. Uh, and we are trying to manage the squad, you know, as better as we can, you know, from the previous seasons. Mm, so hopefully I think it will be a little bit different this season because we've got also younger players who are also uh, a, 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 a season, you know, older in terms of you know game time, in terms of experience. Uh, I think you'd see a player like Jesse didn't play much, you know, last season. But you know, this season uh, he's starting because uh, we 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 had to build him, you know, to prepare him, you know, for this season. Uh, and we've got you know experienced players like you know Teboho, you know, is is young. He's only 23, but he's already, you know, experienced player, you know, in the team. And uh, also, Luke Flores last season, uh, he was making too many mistakes, but we stuck with him because we knew, you know, that this season we're gonna need him. So, you know, that's how we are trying to to improve the squad, and they have players who can play, you know, regularly, you know, and 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 be available for for selection week in week out. So we also, you know, have you know a player like Kenan Phillips, another youngster. Last season he played close to 24 games, and we expect him, you know, to play, you know, you know more games as well this season. Uh, whereas uh, C Sia uh, is started, you know, in that position, but we know, you know, going to the, you know, through towards the season, he's gonna, you know, also uh, burn out as well as get injured. Uh, so we've got Tino Kinen to cover that. Good morning, Coach Katano. Hope you're good. Morning, morning. Can I pause it? Uh, no, I'm all right. I'm all right, Coach. I think, uh, to be honest, one of the aspects of being a good coach is really improving a player season in, season out. And you've improved a couple of players. That is uh, evident with the four of your players being called up to the Bafana squad. How does that make you feel, Coach, uh, when you probably at home, you know, about to have a cup of tea and seeing that you've improved a lot of players and they are now going into the national team. For you personally, how does it feel that you've contributed to, to their growth? Thank you. Uh, uh, look, uh, I think uh, uh, it gives us, you know, a very good feeling. But at the same time, I think it's not, you know, just about the coach. It's about our setup. You know, it's about, you know, so the belief in the, uh, in the confidence we get as well from, from the CEO as well as the board. Uh, you know, for us to really put our efforts in, you know, improving our players. Uh, because since I took over, if you go back, 
uh, you'll see that Sipombule played, you know, less than even five games a season. Teams are never really made you know, 10 appearances. Because at that time, we had players like Dean Femen, we had Yeye. But uh, we had also to try and create, you know, space for these young players because we believed in them. And we didn't want any, you know, blockages in, in front of them. So uh, it's a belief we have in the players that uh, I, I remember last season, uh, we were third. I think we went about ten games uh, with, with, with you know without winning a game, and there was so much pressure. But at that time we were third. Uh, there was so much pressure on our taking our team, you know, in terms of results. But we believed in what, in our project, which is giving our young players uh, the opportunities, you know, to create you know those pathways from our you know from our academy to the first team. And now, each and every individual, you know, especially the younger players in our academy, they can see, you know, where they are going. That if they do well, if they work very hard, there are opportunities for them to play for the first team. That's very key. And uh, there are still a lot of young players that we are looking forward, you know, to promote as well, going to, you know, into the season as well as the next season, preparing them for next season, as much as they will be playing, you know. Yeah, some of their games in the MDC, but they train with the first team. So we we want to try and bring them closer so they get used in the environment. They get used to our training intensity, which is very key. And uh, uh, our, our our young players, and I could you know speak about someone like like, like Jesse. Uh, we've we knew that he is a one player who will be able to replace him. When he goes, but we needed to be a little bit more patient and work, you know, with him. And he's one player as well, who each and every coach would want to give an opportunity because of his work ethic, you know, his hunger and desire. You know, you can see that if he gets that opportunity, he won't disappoint. And that's what we are seeing. And there, there's quite a lot of those youngsters which we have in our, in our, in our group. Yeah, um, uh, Coach Kaitano, uh, we know that. Uh... A super sport is one of those uh, teams that are ambitious in the PSL. Uh, what I want to know, what goals uh, have you set yourself for, for the current season, the 2021-22 season? What uh, have you uh, uh, discussed, uh, I mean, with the chairman, Kulisibia, with the CEO, Stan Matthews, to say, uh, we've got these ambitions for this season. We are gunning for this trophy. We are gunning for the league. What uh, what goals have you set yourself for the season? Uh, look, uh, the first one uh, is to try and uh, be competitive and win each and every game. Uh, but it doesn't necessarily mean that we are we are guaranteed, you know. But that is always uh, our ambition, you know, to be competitive. Uh, and the second one is for us to do better than the previous season. And we want you know, to see our team getting better. We want to see you know, our team improving. And like I always say that you know, with Supersport at the moment, people really uh, don't notice that the team is changing. Uh, there are a lot of young players you know, who are coming to them, but we've always stayed competitive you know, as a group, as a squad. And uh, all the seasons, we have never been out of the top five or you know, top six. Uh, and that's the second one. And the third one, uh, I think we owe it, you know, to, to the league for it to be very competitive. Uh, so we always want to try and win it. And at the same time as well, it doesn't necessarily mean that we, we, we're going to win it. But I think it's, you know, it's an obligation to all the, you know, teams in the league to try and also, you know, you know make this league very competitive. Uh, and, you know, if we look at the previous seasons as well, the last three seasons, we've always been closer. We've always been closer. Uh, and that has always been our objective, to try and win the league because we've won it before. So we believe that uh, we are assembling a team that, you know, in, in future can be able to compete and be dominant, you know, in South African football. I just wanted to ask about um, the, the streamlining of, of the academy and the restructuring um, Obviously, we know it's tough times for everyone. Um, you, you've been there for, for uh, 20 years. You, you know the structures. You've been heavily involved in the, the development. Has it been done in a way 
uh, that obviously that production line of talent that comes through, I think is even more important now because there seems a more a bigger emphasis, emphasis on super, at super sport on promotion than, than signing. Um, is that production line threatened in any way or has it been done in a way that the production line of talent will continue to come through? Um, thanks, thanks very much. Uh, yeah, uh, good question, uh, Mark. Uh, but I think if you've seen, you know, over the years, uh, we have been, you know, you know, bra you know, bringing in the team, you know, experienced players. Uh, when I speak about players like Dean, I speak about Ye Ye, there were two souls, uh, Morgan Gold, all those are very experienced players. So when you have a lot of experienced players in a team, it means also you're not going to be able to bring in a, a, a lot of youngsters at the same time. That's why, you know, if I look at that group, probably the only one who came through the ranks at that time was only, you know, at the moment, you know, Ronwen Williams was still around. Uh, but at the moment, uh, we have less uh, ex experienced players. We have the core, which is our spine. Our spine is mostly experienced players, like now we brought in Butler. But uh, uh, alongside him, there is Luke Flores, there's Kenan Phillips, there's uh, Tatiana Ditlope, who is still also 22. Uh, and in midfield at the moment, we've got Tebza. And Tebza is now already playing a senior role in the team. And there is an emergence of, the emergence of, you know, Jesse Don. There's Jape Moralo, who I, I think we're going to see a lot of him. There's also Talin Bata in midfield. There's uh, uh, Iniesta. And in attack, we've got Gabuza and, and Bradley. Uh, and there is also Gambani Lung, who's also, you know, 22. So that's how we are trying to structure it, you know, to make sure that we always have the spine whereby, you know, young players can be able to, to, to lean on, 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 on that spine when things are not going okay. Uh, our young pastors will be able to, to offer the energy, you know, to bring in energy in the team. So I think uh, uh, the, the production line is opened a little bit more. Uh, hence, we've got more youngsters now. Our squad, I think we've got a squad of about 23 players in around uh, 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 10, 11, or 12. Most of them are under under 23s. So that's why, you know, even in the previous season, I think we are the only team that played, uh, it gave more minutes to young players, you know, under 23 than any other team in the league. Thanks, V. Hey, Baba. Good to see. Dave, Chris, <laughs> <laughs> uh, coach, uh, just uh, following on on, on Mark's, uh, Mark's uh, question there, what sort of scouting structures does uh, Supersport have outside the country? Uh, do you, does the club uh, have people that go into, into, into Africa, stay in Africa? What sort of structures do you have in terms of scouting uh, out, outside the country, mainly, I know, in, in the country, but outside? And uh, the second one, if you can just say, what are you, what, what, what are you expecting from Maritzburg? Have you having seen them? What, what, what are you expecting from Maritzburg? The main thing that you can focus on on Maritzburg on when you play them this time. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Look, uh, in terms of scouting outside the country, uh, we used to send people to go out and watch, you know, matches, especially our local scouts who are part of our first team as well as the academy. Uh, but because of, you know, you, you know, the impact, you know, of COVID, we now relying uh, on, on people or coaches that we, had, we trust in certain areas, in certain countries, you know, to give us information oh. about, you know, players uh, uh, that might be, you know, emerging from, you know, from those countries so that we can be able to, 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 to keep an eye or profile them as well. Uh, and I think that's uh, uh, our structure at the moment. And coming to the game against Marisbeck, like I said earlier, one that uh, they're just coming off a very good win yesterday. Uh, morale boosting, you know, performance. I thought they played very well. We are in anticipating a very tough game against a very confident team. Uh, so we need to really prepare, you know, properly. Uh, and try and use our home advantage uh, because it's important that we do well at home and win all our home matches. 
And I think this game is no different, but we're anticipating a very tough game, uh, direct, you know, and probably physical as well. All right. Um, a quote, probably you've been asked this question a million times about Sipumbule, but, you know, I think it's because of the expectations around him, you know, being the kind of player that he is. It just, uh, I want to find out uh, this season, coach, are you sitting down with him, showing him his stats from last season and telling him this is where you need to improve, this is what I want to see this time around. And, you know, also that, 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 um, I don't know whether there was an offer from Kaiser Chiefs to him. It was managed to be fended off also with uh, Debuhum Gwena. Just, you know, how's, how's their mindset now going into this season? They still have to be performing well. And I'm not sure with Sipo, he hasn't played the last two games. Is he suspended? Is he injured? Just a clarity on that as well. Uh, yeah, uh, with Sipo, he had a shoulder injury. And he's still injured. He's also still going to miss uh, uh, the weekend game. Uh, uh, he's not suspended. Uh, that's the first thing. Uh, I think okay, the same, second thing, I think we are already uh, in the middle or in the beginning of the season. I think for the focus is on the squad that we have, uh, the players that we have. So I, I, I think okay, we've closed any talks of movements, you know, because I think we need to make sure that we focus on uh, uh, on the season and the, the players you can see their performances and so we don't want to try and disrupt that you know by being you know a little bit negative uh, and uh, uh, with Sipo like you mentioned you asked earlier on you know, uh, we always set targets each and every season for each and every player uh, it's always about improving uh, that's, that's our process we have to get better and better if you play it uh, 10 games last season, you've got to play more than 10 games the, the, the following season. So that's our, um, our, our, our structure. You know, that's how we improve our players. Uh, we want them to get better and better. And, and Sipo has already scored, I think, a goal in uh, two matches. Uh, last season, he scored four goals and I think he had about seven assists. So we need him to do better than that. Uh, and he's been looking okay. He's just started, you know, uh, individual training, you know, to recover from his shoulder injury, but probably be available against uh, cheaper next week. Uh, uh, that is if he gets cleared, you know, by the medical team.